Hi guys, Yasas, que calos irfate, which means hello and welcome to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I have another quick and easy weeknight meal for you that's going to come together in under an hour and it's going to be so full of flavor. I'm going to teach you how to make my chicken in tomato and red pepper sauce. You just wait and see how easy this whole thing is. Let's get started making it because I can't wait. Today I'm using chicken thigh meat with the bone in and the skin on. Feel free to use boneless, skinless chicken thigh meat if that's what you like. I do prefer the, the chicken thigh meat because it's super juicy, much, much less expensive than the chicken breast, but you can definitely use chicken breast if you want. Or you could even use a whole chicken and just cut it up into pieces, that's fine. I'm going to season both sides with some salt and some black pepper. Make sure you do both sides so it's very well seasoned. We're going to brown the chicken skin side down for about six to seven minutes. Then we're going to flip it over and cook it for about two minutes on the other side. So the sauce, while the chicken is browning, the sauce is going to get made and it cannot get simpler than this. I'm taking a shortcut and I'm using already store-bought pasta sauce. I love using the one that's tomato basil. If you want to make your own, I'm going to put the directions and the ingredients in the blog post on DimitrasDishes.com. And homemade tomato sauce is very simple to make. And then I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. I like to get the sun-dried tomatoes that are packed in oil. They're much more flavorful. And then I have some roasted canned bell peppers. These are smoked and they're briny, they're tender. And these are packed with one garlic clove. So I'm just going to throw that in there. And I did drain out the brine. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend these until the sauce is smooth. If you like a chunky sauce, then just blend it until it's chunky. Make sure you go ahead and you taste the sauce to adjust the seasoning if it's needed. Mm, so good. Those red peppers combined with tomatoes, it's, when that combination gets together, magic happens. It's so delicious. So the chicken is browned on both sides, but it's definitely not fully cooked. And you do want to do it in two batches if your pan uh, doesn't fit all the chicken. Because if you were to put all the chicken in at once, instead of browning, it's going to steam. And that's not what you're going for. So we're going to add the tomato sauce into the pan. And be careful because it is going to bubble up and to burn you. I'm going to season with a little pinch of more salt because the sauce did need a little tiny bit more. And because I like a little kick of heat, I'm going to add some crushed red pepper flakes. By some, I mean a lot. <laughs> but if you don't like them, leave them out and put black pepper instead. If you love them, put as much as you want. And then over here, I have some capers. Capers are going to add that really nice briny bite. If you don't want capers, you can put olives instead. Just go ahead and roughly chop some kalamata olives. So once the sauce begins to bubble, I'm going to take it off of the heat and I'm going to finish it off in the oven. You can definitely cook it on the heat, but when you roast it in the oven, it just gets an extra level of crispiness on the top and it just, to me, it tastes much better. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put the pan in there and I'm going to let the chicken and the sauce cook for about 25-30 minutes or until the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. The thing that I love about using chicken thigh meat is even if you overcook it, it's still going to be juicy and tender and delicious. If you're cooking this with chicken breast, you are going to cook it less. Again, you're looking for 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't overcook chicken breast or else it is going to get tough on you. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. And just like that, in 30 minutes, the chicken is ready. The sauce is going to have thickened and it, the chicken is going to have released plenty of oil. So you could go ahead and skim a little bit off the top if you don't want extra oil. Go ahead and garnish it with some freshly chopped parsley or a couple of sprigs of fresh oregano. If you have some growing in your garden, that would be great. Serve this alongside some pasta, rice, mashed potatoes, some toasted bread to soak up, anything to soak up that delicious sauce because that sauce is hearty and loaded with flavor. And as you saw, it's so easy to make and it actually makes delicious leftovers. So this is one that you're gonna to wanna to make extra of. It is time to take a bite. So good, especially with those briny capers. It really brightens up the sauce. If you want to, you can definitely put some kalamata olives in here. Of course, serve it with some feta cheese because any red, a red sauce, coquinista with, with feta cheese just tastes extra delicious, just like in Saganaki. 
The recipe, as always, is in the description box down below, as well as on the website, DimitrosDishes.com. Make this for your family tonight. And if you want to learn how to make more quick and easy weeknight skillets, click on this card over here, and I will see you right over there. Yes, us.